What's going on guys? My name is Kerry and today I've got a real treat for you. Another brand new single wide tour. Quick flashback to where it all started. Last summer we did a demo on an edition with yours truly as the wrecking crew and then pulled the old house out to make room for the new home we're touring today. What I like best about this house besides the floor plan is the location. It's literally steps to the lake, which in the summertime is gonna be very tough to beat. Let's go check it out. All right, here's the entrance to the park, but just before we head up to the house, I wanna show you the location I was telling you about. So right across the street, in the distance, you can see the lake. And if you've ever lived by a lake before, you know that people are going to come visit you and they've thought of that here so they don't have to stay in your house if you don't want them to these are all campsites right out front that are rentable in the summer so they can bring a tent they can bring their travel trailer still visit but they're going to have their own space so let's go take a look at the view right across the street literally steps from your front door if you're going to live here we've got okanagan lake right across the street. Last time I showed it, it was covered in snow. We've had a little bit of meltage. So you can really get a good look at it. Across the street, don't get by the car, perfect. So look at this. Imagine this in the summer. You got people swimming, people paddle boarding, people boating. The sandy beach, right across the street from this park. It's one of the best locations I've ever seen a mobile home park be in. Look at this. So you've got beach as far as the eye can see that way. We'll pan across. Look at that. All the way that way and up there we've got a park. And again, that's where the house is right in here. Let's go have a look. If you've watched any of my videos before, you've probably heard me harping on the fact that location is key when you're buying a manufactured home and it doesn't get better than that. Let's go check out the house. Here it is, number 123 in Sandy Beach. This is a 16 foot wide by 66 feet long, 1,056 square feet, two bedroom, two bathroom, and like I showed you, it's right by the lake. So let's look at what we got going on here. We've got the sidewalk to the front door, four by four landing. We've got screen doors on both of the exterior doors. And we've got the gutters on. That's done by Cameron Exteriors out of Salmon Arm. Then on the back door, because we know people like spending time outside, we did a nice big 10 by 12 deck. Lots of room to barbecue, hang out, do all the things you do outside. Then at the back, we've got a little bit more space here. Not a lot in the back but we've got the privacy fence uh, up along Tronson Road. The main feature of this place though, is definitely the location as I showed you. You're gonna be spending some time on this 10 by 12 deck, but if it were me, I'd be down at the lake. That's what it's all about. So let's go inside and have a look. As I mentioned, this is a 16 foot wide home. And if you haven't been in a 16 wide before, you can absolutely notice the difference as soon as you walk inside between a 14 and a 16 or a 12 and a 16. It's actually, you can just feel it. So here's the first thing we added to this house is this peninsula with the overhang. So you can put your bar stools under there because we know people like to congregate in the kitchen. It's a perfect place to hang out. So to throw your bar stools in there and away you go. So this is the first look at the kitchen. I did a video a few days ago where I compared this kitchen to a kitchen where I picked the colors. And it was a unanimous response, except for one other person liked the colors in this one. And it just so happens it was picked by my wife. So I'm not really surprised. I was hoping a few more people would like the one I picked, but that's okay. Now I know. Now I know that she's in charge of picking the colors and this will be my go-to decor set going into 2021. So we've got the cabinet up here, window over the sink, stainless steel appliances, and this is just a nice workable 
kitchen. So going over here, we've got a little more storage. We added this pantry over here. So you've got room for food and stuff. You can never have too much room for food and stuff, especially if you eat as much as I do. So that, lots of space to put your things in. Right across from the kitchen, we've got the utility room and the second entrance. So that is out to the deck that I showed you on the outside. We've got the furnace here. We've got a place to hang the coats coming in. And then just some extras that come in shipping. So extra lino, extra tile in case one breaks in transport. And luckily they sent it because yes, we did have a tile break in transport. So it's nice to have that with the home when it arrives. So washer dryer area here and above a place to put your detergents, fabric softeners, dryer sheets, and you can have it put away so people don't need to see what you use to clean your clothes with. Not that it really matters, but it's just a neater look, you know? So there's another look at the kitchen from this side. And then we've got the bedroom down here, window there, and into the ensuite. So there's the bank of drawers in the ensuite. And we've got the walk-in closet on this side. So you've got some space to hang your clothes up. And then over there, tub shower unit. And on this one, actually they're noticing we added that window. We didn't have that in the last one. So that's a nice addition. Let some natural light into this ensuite. So that is the upgraded tub. It's not the biggest available, but it's bigger than the standard. I think it's perfect size. And you can see we've got the craftsman doors throughout this home. Those are a really nice look. So let's cruise on down to the other side of the home and I'll show you the rest of the house. So I love this floor plan. It's so open, no wasted space. It just kind of one space flows into the other. There's really no hallway and it's just a great use of space and that's why it's so popular. So here's the second bathroom. You can see we've got the bank of drawers in there as well. This is the standard tub. So it's still very workable. It's just not quite as big as the one in the ensuite. So we've got that, the drawers, and then a little bit of storage under there and the plumbing. And on the front door, just to get that little bit extra natural light, we've got that window. We'll go into the second bedroom. They've got a street view, but we've got a view of the real estate sign. So we'll just do a quick tour around here. They don't have the walk-in closet, but they do have some storage nonetheless, just a regular standard size closet. So that pretty much wraps up the entire house. So I think I'm gonna end it here. There you have it. That's the entire walkthrough of this two bedroom, two bathroom, 1,056 square foot home over in Vernon, BC, right down by the lake. That's all I've got for today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I've got a lot more coming. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.